thriving communities generate culture. And, uh, and that's really important. It's much more important than we give it credit for in the, in the very literal sense of you know, credit being uh, financial. Uh, and, and you can tell when you're in a, a real place like uh, New Orleans or Austin, Texas or Nashville that has a lot of uh, a local arts scene that's really thriving, the whole place just seems alive and people have, have a pride in being there. So what does it take to make that happen? Well, one of the things it takes is, uh, is venues, people putting themselves out to create uh, venues for local artists and, and musicians, um, restaurants and, and hotels and taverns and so on, making their, their places places of um, you know, communal celebration on a, on a regular basis where, where uh, amateur and semi-professional and professional artists can, uh, can create and share and in that sharing, of course, they, they get something, but the whole community uh, benefits enormously. The arts, we in, in modern capitalist societies, the arts are, are treated as a, a, a little doodad that's added on that you know, maybe makes life a little more pleasurable and we're willing to you know, devote a, a little money toward it. But what gets remembered? You know, who do, do we remember? Uh, Leonardo da Vinci, or do we remember the, the guy who hired him to paint whatever picture, you know, well, the guy who hired him is his name is, is most in most cases forgotten. Um, so it, uh, this is a plea, not just for more arts funding, but but for a, a consciousness of the importance of the arts in our in our lives and in our communities, and for you know some creativity creativity in finding ways to enable our local creative artists to to thrive. 